What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I've got this EBL flashlight. It's an AL35. Comes in this box here. Let's do a true unboxing on this little bad boy. I hate the dark, so I uh, always like having a lot of lights around me. First of all, comes with quite a bit of stuff here, actually. Um, uh, looks like manual, warranty cards, and a micro USB cable for charging. But when I say a lot of stuff, I'm impressed here because it comes with a package of two 18650 lithium ion 3000 milliamp batteries, both branded EBLs, which is nice because these things are kind of pricey. So it comes with two of those right out of the box. It's kind of nice to keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and unwrap the EBL flashlight itself. Man, this thing is beefy. Uh, you know, it's not huge. I can hold down this bottom part of the torch, no problem, but you've got this beefy top portion here. Obviously some radiating fins here. Um, uh, you've got this anodized orange ring around there. That That is really cool looking. Just a nice touch. Uh, EBL here. We also have some fins right there. Knurling. Uh, this is, you've got some cuts here to square it out. You have a uh, knurling on the back. You have two loops here for uh, lanyard. I don't see one that comes with it, but you could put, certainly put that in there. Rubberized power button. Even looks like there's a little translucency right there for maybe a light indication. And we have a fixed clip screwed on there. Very nice. It's a single direction clip, so you can put it on your uh, in your pocket, uh, but the this, the this portion will be out. You have some uh, a nice uh, castled ridge on the end here. Man, a really robust lens. That sucker is thick and the LED element right there. So beautiful looking. Let's see, we'll open up the back here. We've got a O-ring right there for waterproofing. And then I'm assuming this will only take one uh, 18650 battery, even though it came with two, so they're kind of overkilling you already, but you can charge the second one up and have that. Now, I don't think this cap was on there as tight as it could have been, so tighten that down. And now let's see, whoa, holy crap, that's Sprite. So if I click it and hold it down, that turns it off. If I click it, it always scrolls through the light modes until it's off. And you can see there when it's on, we get a little green illumination on the back button. So if I click it here, click down to the lowest level and off. Now, what I think also happens is if I turn it on and leave it on and for a few seconds here, yes, it's bah, sounds a little time, and then tap it, it's gonna go off. So really once it's on, if you start clicking it to the mode that you want, um, you know, it'll scroll through those modes and then uh, another full click will turn it off. And it seems to have memory, it seems to go back to that mode. I said, and buy ourselves a few seconds. I'm kind of guessing five seconds is, is, is the threshold. And if I tap it, it goes off. I do like that, that it has memory. And then if I kind of am quick about it after turning it on, I can scroll through the modes. That is a bright flashlight. There's no point in trying it out only inside. We had to try it out in the dark. All right, guys, outside in the dark with my EBL flashlight. Just powered on there. And man, holy smokes, right, right out of the gate. This thing is uh, stinking bright. Look at that. And, um, and like I said, you kind of click through quickly to get to the other modes. So that's bright. And that's the low mode there. And even in the low mode, things are really... I mean, this is not a firefly mode by any means, but it'd be a bright flashlight for navigating campsite, for inside your tent. Even out 10, 20 feet here, uh, this isn't bad for hiking or a little, little quick jog. It's even illuminating the trees out there, but you might not be able to see it kind of at uh, that level. Let me just see if I can get up here to the high level. And man, not only is it illuminating the trees out there, but it's illuminating the whole tree line. I mean, the illumination pattern is huge, super bright. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. That is awesome. See, look at those tall trees. Pretty, pretty wicked. And then, like I said, going down, even on the low level, that is really, really usable light. Um, I kind of prefer, you know, being able to control the modes without having to power it off first. So that's kind of maybe one little drawback on it, but otherwise a super capable flashlight. I, I really like this. I like the illuminated button on the back too. 
I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to pick one up. I think it's worth it. Peter Von Panda. Out. <laughs>